Hey guys, I found a new AI website builder tool and yeah, this is uh, what I want to check out in this video or I want to create a website with this tool. So this tool or this platform is relatively new and um, yeah, so here is the tool. It's called ready.ai and you can create uh, yeah really good looking websites so um, or it looks really promising. So you can see, um, of course, it is not uh, not a dynamic website that you can create here. It's a static website. So I think if you need, um, yeah, if you need a quick website and don't want to use WordPress or something like this, then uh, yeah, if this tool works, then it is, uh, yeah, it looks really good. So and you can also export the code, and then um, yeah, when you export the code, then you can of course upload it to your server, and you can create. A complete website with your own domain name and yeah so you can see uh this is the website here are some projects that are already created with this tool and yeah this uh looks looks really good so here you can see a few a few pre-made websites or a few projects that are created with this tool and this looks really good and yeah uh, of course, this tool is not completely free. So this tool has a free version and also a paid version. So let's uh, take a look at the pricing here. And here you can see um, it is there's a free plan, a startup plan and a pro plan. So um, uh, right now I am not quite sure um, what these credits are used for. Yeah, of course, maybe for, <laughs> or, yeah, for the site uh, generation. But um, yeah, let's let's find out how many pages we can create with our free 100 credits. And uh, yeah, if you want to work consistently on the website, then yeah, you have to go with uh, with these plans here. Uh, you can also yearly it and a little bit cheaper. But okay, so then uh, let's click here on get started, and I think we have to sign up first. Yeah, and uh, let me sign up real quick with uh, my Google account. Also, you can create an account with your email address. I want to do this with my Google account real quick. Okay, now uh, we are signed in. And then let's give this uh, project a name. And of course, I already created a prompt um, for this website. So I created the prompt with ChatGPT. So here you can see um, we want to create a website. I will show you later. Let's copy the, the site name. Let's paste it in here. So you can also choose the code uh, in which language you want to create the website, HTML, React, uh, Vue. Um, okay, uh, React is interesting, but first let's create it with normal CSS and HTML. And I don't know if there's inline JavaScript, but uh, we will find out. So then let's go to HTML and then let's click on create here. So now we have to uh, give our prompt. So let's copy our prompt and or let me first read to you what the prompt is all about. So create a modern SEO optimized website for a fictional company called Echo Charge Mobility that offers portable solar charging station for electric vehicles, campers and outdoor events, the homepage should have a clear hero section with a value proposition, a section for product features, a benefit section, and a call to action. The website should include at least five pages, hero, products, how it works, about us, and contact. Uh, use cursive uh, but professional language and focus on converti converting echo Concisious customers, holy schnackies, uh, at testimonials, FAQs, um, and comparison charts between uh, Eco Charge Station and trad traditional EV chargers. Also, a trust signal such, such as uh, certific certificates or Eco labels. Design should feel clean, tech savvy, and nature inspired. So, uh, sounds good. Uh, sounds <laughs> relatively complicated, but yeah, we want to. Of course, we want to test it out. We want to bring this uh, to to its its limits here. So then, uh, let's go back here and let's paste this. Mm, what's this? Uh, se let's select 
uh, one page is for reference. Ah, okay, we can select a reference page. Uh, no pages. Okay, okay, we first have to create a page. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So then um, here we can select uh, color and style. So uh, light and dark theme, primary color. Yeah, we leave this for now. So the AI should decide uh, themselves. Then corner roundings, we can define the corner roundings. Okay, let's save this. Uh, what's this upload images here we can okay here we can upload uh, our own images so if we have any images then we can upload this here but um, yeah I don't uh, have any images yet I think um, yeah the AI should grab the images uh, themselves or stock images or whatever so then um, yeah I think everything is good then let's click on send and let's see what happens so now thinking, um, now he breaks down our new website in different sections, uh, product features, benefits, uh, FAQ, footer, mobile optimization, uh, technical features, SEO optimization, yeah, looks good. Here we can uh, interact with the prompt or with the AI in the background when we have uh, any modifications or when we implement any modifications or Add different different features then we can um, chat here uh, but yeah it is it looks good so then let's click on generate and let's see what happened here mm, I'm curious about how <laughs> this turns out so the prompt I think is yeah relatively complex relatively hard uh, yeah let's see how long this takes and what the results are Okay, I think now we can see uh, the first results. So we have our footer, uh, our header, not our footer, our header. And yeah, uh, okay, looks good, almost ready. Then, okay. Okay, we have some, some logos here and looks promising so far. Oh, let's see what else we have on the site so far. Uh, yeah, I think this is, yeah, this is um, definitely an AI generated image. Um, oh, it looks good. And the good thing, of course, is you can, uh, you can, you can edit this website if you are, if you want to change something, if you are not happy with uh, the images or with the text or with the placement or with the layout. Of course, you can change this. You can change this then in the in the HTML code or in the CSS code. You can change this, and if you if you are not familiar with HTML or CSS, then um, yeah, yeah, then you can use, um, of course, for example, Visual Studio Code, and then uh, use Klein and tell Klein inside Visual Studio Code uh, which part you want you want to to modify. Um, okay, here's our. A comparison table, um, yeah. This looks really nice. Um, okay, here's our footer section. Here we have, okay, it's still working. So we have newsletter function here. Um, okay, I think we are ready. Uh, yeah, oh, great. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I really like so and also, also we have some some effects here and some good looking buttons. Um, ah, okay, continue to generate, then we can generate more. Okay. Uh, okay. But are other websites or oh, the other side working? Ah, okay. So if we want to generate the other, the other pages, then um, yeah, then we when then we have to um, click here, and then this uses our our free credits. Okay, I, I get it. So um, yeah, but let's let's test it out. I mean, uh, whatever. So then let's click here on continue with generate, so that we generate this page. Um, 
thinking, now we're thinking again. I hope this site is, uh, I am here, you can see this site is, is stored, is saved. So this is the main homepage. And um, this page uh, called page one at the moment is our, and here again, is our um, upcoming product, product side, product page. You can click here on generate. And yeah, now the same, of course, now he starts to generate um, this page based on our requirements, on our given prompt. So let's give this a moment and let's see what um, the AI coder comes up with. Okay, now the product page is uh, also finished. And here you can see this is our uh, product page. Uh, it looks really good, it looks really clean. So it's uh, yeah, like a shop page. Here we have some some filters uh, that are not working right now. Uh, yeah, but um, you get the idea. And here are our AI generated product images. And uh, yeah, this uh, looks good. Yeah, looks good so far. But of course, I think, and here's our, here our footer, our generated footer. Um, the only problem I can see here that it's, yeah, for example, like this, it's uh, relatively hard to edit this and make a real uh, store out of this because when you create an HTML, um, it's it's not that easy. So when you want to create a, a real store, when you want to sell products on the store, then it's much easier when you when you use something like WordPress or WooCommerce uh, or something like this. But the design, um, yeah, I, I really like the design. The, the design is really clear, really, yeah, uh, really good. Uh, let's go back to the homepage. Uh, okay, we cannot go back to the homepage. Uh, we have to go here. Okay, here's our homepage again. So the design and the layout, I really like this. Um, but yeah, you have to, uh, later you have to connect um, every every uh, button, every feature, every function, you have to connect this. And if you are not that familiar with HTML and CSS, like I said before, it's uh, not, not that easy. But if you want to get inspired, if, if you want to search for uh, inspiration on how to design your website, um, this is a really good idea. So, and here you can see we can export this. We can export this in Figma as a Figma design. Mm, export to Creative, and also we have the code here. Okay, here's the code. Let me see. We have um, yeah, integrated script, Tailwind CSS. We are using integrated CSS here. Mm, yeah, and then you can copy this, for example, and make a new document and open this document then in Visual Studio Code. And there you can uh, modify the code and also, of course, use AI to modify the code. Um, yeah, it is it's okay. Um, it's not a, that rev revolutionary, but um, yeah, the design part, the layout part is good. And uh, now I want to see uh, how many credits uh, do we did we use for this? Um, let's go here. Maybe account. Um, no. Where can we see data collection? Uh, what is data collection? Okay. Create this. Let's publish. Okay. Here we can somehow. Uh, okay, okay, here we could publish this, but I want to see how many credits we spend for this for this project. You can switch between projects. Um, okay, I cannot see where we can put this. Uh, okay. Yeah, I cannot see um, how many credits. Maybe billing? Ah, here. Okay, we used uh, 40 credits. So every page is uh, 20 credits. And yeah, this, this is fair. This is fair. Yeah, if you uh, want to try it out, then um, go ahead. I will put the link to this uh, platform in the video description down below. But of course, you have to, you have to decide if you want to create a website, um, a simply normal or a simple static website, a really fast website. 
um, maybe one pager, then of course this is this is really good. If you if you don't want to have any features, um, any any yeah any uh, fancy fancy functions inside the website, if if you don't need to interact with the website, then a static website of course is really good. And I found this this chart, so um, yeah, you can see um the comparison between static website like this or a dynamic website like for example a wordpress website where you can um, implement anything you you want uh, where you have a real data database connected um yeah it's completely up to you what you're using what you're what you want to use but um yeah you can definitely try it out and play around with this but of course you you have to uh, you have to be able to uh, write a little bit of code when you want to use this or understand the code and maybe then uh, grab the code and put the code that generated in this platform and put the code inside Visual Studio Code and then uh, you can modify the code there, maybe yourself or maybe with the help of AI. Um, yeah, I uh, recommend, of course, using WordPress. So if you learn WordPress, uh, then it's not that complicated. And uh, yeah, you can do almost everything because it is a dynamic website. You can implement uh, any any function, any snippet, any code. Um, what you cannot do in in this kind of static websites. But yeah, it is what it is. You can you can check it out if you want. Um, yeah, then uh, go ahead. And yeah, let me know what you think about it. Let me know in the comments what you prefer. If you like something like this. Um, these these website AI website builders, or if you prefer WordPress for building your website, your e-commerce store, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, so then um, I think that's it for the video. So if you have any any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, and thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye, guys.